It is said that the church is far different than what Jesus taught. Would you say that what is taught now is different than what the Buddha taught? It's a valid question, no? Well, you know, the church, no? What is the church? And what is what Jesus taught as well? I mean, we don't know what the Buddha taught, right? We don't know if what we have is what the Buddha taught. But I, I talked about this before. The, the most important thing is not whether it was the Buddha who taught these things. The important is whether important is whether it's true. And that's what's so profound about the Buddha's teaching is it's ehi basiko. The Buddha said, you come and see for yourself. So this is what we have to do in the Buddha's teaching. And it doesn't quite answer the it doesn't what doesn't really answer the question because you can see that many people have come and seen very, very different things, right? Many people interpret Buddhism to be something to to be to be very, very different things. So the, the really the best you can do if you want to be totally uh, scientific about it is investigate the various Buddhist traditions and look and see if they're internally consistent. You know, is this tradition internally consistent? Like the people who uh, the people who who claim to claim this as the truth are they actually practicing it? And do they actually seem to have realized some of of what they're teaching, or are there any examples of that? And then look and see if it's ex externally consistent. You know what they're saying is fine and good, but is there any any observable uh, proof that it is true, so that it doesn't just become a faith thing? Like God said this, God said that. If you do this, you'll go to God and go to heaven. Uh, that's the best you can do. I mean, obviously, everyone's going to say ours is the. You know, this is what the Buddha taught. There are some people who say even. Oh, there there are a few traditions that I've heard this from where they say, the true teachings of the Buddha were hidden for thousands of years, and then this teacher, our teacher, discovered them again, and this is the lineage of the Buddha. Just totally ignoring all the other traditions, like all these other traditions that were there before. As though they were nothing, or as they they didn't exist. But um, there, there is some other another aspect to this question is that there are people who acknowledge that, say, the tradition that we follow, or the Theravada in general, say the Pali Canon, for example, is most likely what the Buddha taught. But then they say that's not good enough. You see, so it, it gets quite complicated. Just because it's what the Buddha, Buddha taught doesn't mean it's what we should do. They say the Buddha taught many things just because people couldn't understand the truth. And now later on, people can better understand the truth. There's, there's that uh, opinion as well. And so now we have to use different teachings. It's very interesting. And, and, and they even claim that there are some later teachings of the Buddha that were hidden. And... Uh, and the Buddha hid them because he knew that people couldn't understand them. And then after he passed away, they were discovered. And it's a little bit suspicious. But, sorry, I don't, don't mean to, to make too much fun. But just to point out that it's not necessarily uh, enough to ask whether it's the Buddha's teaching. And so I would say it's not really the most important thing. The importance is that it's true, valid, and and you know, that you can understand the benefit of it and you can understand the goodness of it and the rightness of it because the other thing is that there are different paths you know following the buddha's teaching will lead you to become enlightened uh as a follower you know, you'll, you'll, you'll become free from suffering it won't necessarily lead you to become a buddha where you know everything, so you might become free from suffering and free from all, from everything, let go of everything. But you may not know every, come to know everything. Most likely won't, because the Buddha didn't teach everything that he knew. He didn't teach you how to come to know everything, because he realized that it wasn't really necessary. 
wasn't really of any benefit uh, or it wasn't of the most immediate benefit so some people say well immediate benefit is all and good but what about the next Buddha when there's nobody around to teach so then they decide they want to become a Buddha and so therefore they don't pay so much attention to the Buddha's teaching anyway that wasn't what you asked what you asked is what I say what is taught now is different from what the Buddha taught and I've kind of been igno ignoring that um, but I did say that we don't really know but one more thing that could be said is that when you practice you really do know this is the claim anyway the claim that we make claim that, that is made uh, is that a person who practices the Buddha's teaching will come to realize that this, the person who taught this was a Buddha was enlightened was knew the truth the objective truth and they'll say this teaching is the truth the objective truth they'll come to realize that for themselves um, because they'll come to see Nibbana I mean Nibbana is really the key you know when a person realizes Nibbana they realize that, that uh, there is nothing in samsara of, of any real benefit and it's not that they reject it, but they just stop clinging to it. They stop looking for things. They stop seeking after things. And so it's objective. You realize it for yourself, and this is the claim, is that it's objective, and it's objective truth. So whether the Buddha taught it or not is not the most important, but if you want an answer to that, you know, once you use the word Buddha, then what you mean by the word Buddha is someone who has realized the objective truth, and then what you mean by the, the teaching, you know, you have this teaching in these books. If the teaching in the books allows you to realize the objective truth, then yes, you know that it, it was taught by the Buddha. So that's as good of an answer as I think I can give. <laughs>